landscapes that I bore. Can you take me back when we were just kids who weren't scared of getting older? Cause no one knows you like they know you and no one probably ever will. You can grow up, make new ones, but the truth is that we grow up then wish we could go back then there's nothing like old friends cause you can't make old friends I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything I hope you dance That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying and Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all that you want the fall Hope when the water rises you build a wall and Hope when the crowd screams out the screaming your name Hope if everybody runs you'll say It's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it Not yet have reached our glory, but I will gladly join the fight. And when our children tell their story, they'll tell the story of tonight. They'll tell the story of tonight. Tonight. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten 
in the middle of nowhere. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. All we see is love. Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. For us, when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand and hold. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away No matter what they tell you Someone will come running to take you home Raise a glass to all of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight Out of the shadows The morning is breaking And all is new All is new, all is new. It's only a matter of time through when you need a friend to carry you when you're broken on the ground you will be found so let the sun come streaming in because you'll reach up and you rise again if you only look around you will be found and when our children tell their story you will be found they'll tell the story of tonight What they tell you Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight The story of
Good evening, and welcome to our celebration of the class of 2021. We are grateful to have family. Yeah, you can clap. That's fine. That's good. We'll get warmed up a little bit. We are grateful to have family, friends, and our community join with us as we commemorate these graduates. Please stand as we prepare to welcome them and remain standing for our national anthem to follow the processional.
You may be seated. I want to start by saying a word of thanks to our Gunner High School Chamber Choir under the direction of Amy Dibert. Would you give them a round of applause, please? Well, good evening. I'm Dr. Jill Seiler, the superintendent of Gunner ISD, and I want to welcome you to the 2021 Gunner High School commencement ceremony. Before we begin our program, I want to introduce several individuals who have been instrumental in leading us to this point. The Gunner ISD Board of Trustees works selflessly with a clear goal to improve every aspect of this incredible school district and to support the people who do the work to make it great. Board members, when I call your name, if you would please stand all around this arena and a few on stage. And audience, if you would hold your applause until the end, and we're going to begin with our officers. Our board president, Mr. Scott Meyerdirk. Our board vice president, Mr. Lynn Reed. Our board secretary, Mrs. Shelley Hales. Board members, Dr. Gary Harris, Mr. Gabe Johnson, Mr. John Jonas, and Mr. Jason Padgett. We want to share a special thanks to exiting board member, Mr. Jeff Banks, who will be stepping down after eight years of service to this district. Would you help me in thanking our school board members for supporting our students? I'd also like to take a minute to thank our high school leadership team. Our Gunner High School principal, Mrs. Kenzie Woods, this has been Kenzie's first year to lead Gunner High School, and what a year it has been for her to lead. We're so thankful to have her outstanding leadership. Our Gunner High School counselor, Mr. Jacob Wagner, who has been working tirelessly to make sure every student had everything that they needed to walk across this stage tonight. And our Gunner High School administrative assistant, Ms. Charlotte Ruffle, who I've learned over the years makes everything we do come to life. Thank you for helping make tonight special. Would you give them a round of applause, please? We have outstanding faculty and staff at Gunner ISD. And while many of our high school faculty who have been with these students tonight, we know that this night is a result of the last 13 years. And so if you are a Gunner ISD employee, staff member, teacher, current, former, any capacity, would you please stand and be recognized tonight? All of our staff, please stand. And last but not least to our seniors, Roy Lehman shared in his baccalaureate message that we tend to ask our seniors a whole lot of questions. Where are you going? What are you doing? But one question I want us to not forget is what have you done? And tonight we're gonna hear about the incredible accomplishments that this senior class has done. So for now, seniors, I say thank you for setting the example for students for many years to come of what it looks like to be successful in er every area of life. Give me just a minute. I got a joke built in. I just need to get to it so we can all laugh. <laughs> Nine years ago uh, this week, I spoke for the very first time at a Gunner event. And uh, this class right here, they were in their final week of third grade. Um, the funny part about this was that I had only been on the job for four days at the time that I was asked to speak at graduation. And I really didn't know what to talk about to a group of students that I did not know. I remember that night talking about the reasons that I came to this district, the legacy of excellence in literally everything we do. The small town values in the beauty of living in a place where we know everyone and we are known. And the culture and the values that this, belief, that this community holds. Values like hard work. Of course, I had to learn what TPW even stood for. You can explain that to your family members later. Integrity, choosing to do the hard things, the right things, even when it's hard, and love. This community cares for each other in times of celebration and in times of despair. And these seniors have showed these values over and over and over again. While I had just met the class of 2012 that year, I remember sharing that if my two kids could grow up to be like those 59 that year, that I would call myself incredibly blessed as a parent. And I can say nearly 10 years later, the same sentiment holds true. 
Graduates, it's been a privilege to be your superintendent. From that first week I met you in the third grade to watch you walk across the stage tonight. And I hope that you carry with you the same things that this community is known for, that you will be excellent in everything that you do. That you'll create community around you by caring and loving your friends and your family, and that you'll stay grounded in the beliefs that we've tried to raise you up in, values like working hard, doing the right thing, and loving others. This evening, we have the privilege to hear from four of our highest ranking students in the class. Sharing some opening and closing remarks will be Mary Smith and Ray Adala. Sharing the salutatorian address will be J.C. Childers, and the valedictorian address will be given by Kate Remett. As Mary Smith joins me on stage for her opening remarks, let me say a special thanks to these four graduates for the example that they've set in their academic careers. And seniors, let me congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. We are here tonight to celebrate you. Mary. It is your reaction to adversity, not the adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. This quote, stated over 10 years ago by Dieter F. Dusdorf, remains relevant today. Over the past year, we have all been tossed and turned by challenges. The world has been in an uproar over various health, economic, political, and personal issues and controversies. None of us could have foreseen any and many of these trials we have had to face in the past year. Growing up, I never envisioned my senior year to include mask wearing, snowstorms, or power and water shortages. I'm sure none of you did either. But this has been our reality, and personally, I would not change a thing about it. Every trial has provided me and you with a new opportunity to grow and change, to develop our own personal stories in a unique way. We have all been affected by adversity in the past, and despite what we may wish, we will all face adversity in our future. As we continue on to the next chapter of our life, new challenges will arise, and the development of our story will be left. As we choose how we react and adapt to our adversities, we can become better. Thank you. Seniors, would you look under your chairs, please? At this time, we would like to honor um, each and every one of the people who have meant something to these graduates, so they have a token to give you as they come. So please indulge them. Seniors, you just
I'd like to thank my mom, dad, brother, and sister for all being there for me each and every day with just the love and guidance that I've needed. I love you all so much. And thank you. First of all, I want to thank my family, especially my mom and dad, for always being there and supporting me and loving me. The next, I want to thank my teachers for giving me the help that I needed for all my assignments and put me in the position to succeed in high school. And then next, I want to thank my friends for uh, being there for me and hanging out with me and making my high school years more enjoyable. And that's all. Thanks. Check it out, Mom and Dad. I made it. Seems like just yesterday I was walking to kindergarten ready to start trouble. Nonetheless, you were both still always there for me and believed in me throughout my entire journey to get where I am today. Even you, Miranda. Thank you for being my best friend. Your absolute craziness and being able to talk to you about anything is probably what I'll miss the most. I'm eternally grateful for the support and love you all have given me. Here's to the next four years at AC. Love you. I just wanted to thank my parents for being so supportive, showing up to all my basketball games, volleyball games, and track meets, and always making sure that I was doing my best in school and I got everything I needed. Thank y'all. I want to thank my mom, dad, Pax, Sam, Hannah, Gam, NG. And I also want to thank a few of my teachers, Miss Oliman, Miss Gittens, and Miss Reeves. Thank my mom and dad for always helping and supporting me. I just want to thank my mom and my dad and my sister for helping me and supporting me all four years of high school and helping me get here. Thank you, I love you guys. Mom and dad, thank you for all of the love and support you have poured into me leading up to this day. Throughout high school, y'all have consistently believed in me even when I did not believe in myself, which is something I am truly grateful for. I wouldn't be the person I am today without the two of you. And to Kaylee, Casey, and Cambry, Y'all are the best built-in best friends that I could ever ask for, and having y'all as my sisters is truly a blessing. I love all of you so much. Uh, I'd just like to thank my parents. Uh, Mom, thank you so much for helping me emotionally and being able to support me when I needed you the most. And Dad, I'd like to thank you for helping me academically. Whenever I had a question, you were always there to answer. And then uh, to all my new friends in Gunner, thank you so much for helping me with the transition. Um, moving to a new school in my junior year was kind of rough and y'all helped me get through it. And I'm excited to see where we all end up in the future. Hola mamá y papá. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí y gracias por su apoyo. Aunque siempre les digo que me quiero ir de aquí, espero que sepan que los voy a extrañar mucho. Los quiero. Bye. I want to thank my parents, my siblings, and all my friends who have gotten me through the past four years. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my mom, who's always been my biggest supporter and my best friend. I love you guys. I would like to say a huge thank you to my friends, my family, and everyone that has helped me get to this point in life. I'm beyond blessed and grateful for all the opportunities I've had so far and all of the love and support I've received over the years. I can't wait to see what this next chapter of my life holds. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Honestly, 
Lastly, I would like to thank God for all the blessings and opportunities I've received, as well as my parents for their love and care, which are the reason why I'm able to be where I am academically and personally. Discussing my educational experience would be incomplete without mentioning all the teachers that I took classes with throughout middle and high school, from whom I learned so much. A thank you especially to Ms. Foster for all the knowledge that I've gained from her classes and for the comfortable atmosphere that was in her classroom where everyone is allowed to express themselves no matter what they have to say. Her room has been like a second home at times and the memories made there will stay with me forever. Thank you to my family for always supporting me through every decision I've made throughout the years. Thank you to the Schnicker family and Miss Sanders for always believing in me and pushing me to become the person I am today. I would like to thank my mom and dad for getting me up every morning and encouraging me to try my best every day. I would also like to thank my friends as without them this whole experience would have been very boring. I want to thank my dad and Christy for always believing in me and being there for me. Your prayers have been and will continue to be my biggest support. Thank you, Mom, for watching over me at every moment in this journey. And thank you to all my friends who have had my back through the years. I'm going to miss you guys. I would like to thank my parents, Ms. Foster, Ms. Wallace, and Mr. Johnson because without them, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish near what I did in high school. And to my classmates, I wish you all the best. I would like to thank my parents for everything they have done for me to get to this point. They have always supported me in anything I have wanted to do, and they have always wanted what's best for me, and I'm always going to be grateful for that. Love you, Mom and Dad. I also wanted to thank my little brothers Brock and Blake for just being there. Even when we fight, you always manage to make my day a little brighter. Love you guys. Hola, my pan. Quería decirte que gracias por ayudándome en la escuela y en la vida. And to my teachers and friends, I'd like to say thank you. And you made school life very bearable, and I thank you for that. I would like to thank my parents for always being my biggest supporters and giving me every opportunity in the world. I would also like to thank Tanner for being the best big brother a girl could ask for. Thank you guys for everything. I love y'all and I'll miss you. Hi, mom and dad. I'm graduating high school today. I just want to thank y'all so, so much for everything y'all have done to help me get to this point. Not everyone is as fortunate as I was to have such selfless parents who have sacrificed so much to help me reach my dreams. I've been beyond blessed with such loving and supportive family, and I wouldn't be who I am today without the influence of each and every one of y'all. I also want to thank all my friends for such a memorable high school experience. Y'all are my forever friends, and I can't wait to cheer y'all on as y'all accomplish great things in life. Would you please welcome the salutatorian of the class of 2021, Jason Childers. Good evening, parents, teachers, and classmates. I'm very excited to get to stand up here in front of y'all tonight. I'm being honest, last week I had a completely different speech written for tonight, but due to recent events that were something there was something different put on my heart that I felt like I should talk about. As many know, the Gunner community lost a precious member this past week, and we, the class of 2021, were some of the hardest hit by this tragedy. For me, and I'm sure many others, the shock of this event was a huge reality check. For the first time in my 18 years of living, I realized how real death is and even more so how precious our lives are. I started to recognize how unintentional I had become in the way I treated people, loved people, and spoke to people. Life's way too short for that, and my classmates and I learned that the hard way. 
Every part of me wishes I had been more intentional in the way I had treated, loved, and spoke to Kobe. But the time for that has passed, and now all I can do is be sure to treat all the other people in my life with intentionality and love. My fellow graduates and I have grown closer together this past week, has, have grown closer together this past week, more so than we have in the, our four years at Gunner High School. Any past hurts or anger between us were forgotten. Feelings of jealousy, resentment, or bitterness were no ro longer prevalent among, among us. But instead, only love and compassion were shown towards each other. Whether close friends or just acquaintances, no one was hesitant to embrace another in a hug or offer a shoulder to cry on or comfort a hurting classmate with words of encouragement. Amidst such a tragedy, it was beautiful to watch my fellow graduates and I come together and genu genuinely love one another. Although I would never wish such an event on anyone, I am very thankful for the bond that my classmates and I have developed through our shared pain. My hope to the class of 2021 is that as you go on to the next chapter in your life, that you would love unconditionally always, not just in times of, of adversity and tragedy. Be an encouraging influence and a voice of positivity in the lives of everyone around you. Forgive easily and don't hold grudges. Give hugs and tell your loved ones you love them. You truly never know when it will be the last time. So be intentional in the way you treat others. I have loved my time at Gunner High School and I wouldn't want to walk the stage with any other group by my side. Thank you to every classmate, teacher, coach, friend, and family member who has influenced my life to get me to this point. I truly love each person here so much. Jesus loves you. Have a blessed night. Thank you, JC. That was really good. And the bat was great, too. So we're here. We made it. And I cannot commend all of you enough. When I was growing up, I played a lot of sports, and I used to hate, hate whenever we would lose the coach would gather us in a huddle and be like, hey, don't forget. You learn more when you lose. Cool, 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 cool. But we still lost. Like, we don't know, like, how that helps. But you got to think about what our life has looked like the past 18 months, right? We learned a whole lot because we lost a whole lot. You lost the last part of your junior years. Um, we lost the opportunity to see each other's faces. We lost the opportunity to spend time in the same room. And this year we've learned a lot. We've learned that it makes a difference when you see your friend's face in person as opposed to on the phone or on a Zoom. We've learned from the losses. We've learned that it matters. We matter, not apart, but together. And probably the most recent loss has taught us the most precious lesson. And that no moment is ever promised. So my charge to you, graduate, is that you steward every single moment. We've experienced amazing, amazing victories, long playoff runs in everything from tennis. Good job, Tate. Let's give Tate a round of applause. I just love. I did add that in rehearsal, too, because I just know how he thoroughly enjoys any attention thrown his way. There's tons of goodness that we get from winning, and it feels really, really good. But the growth, 
that we've experienced isn't necessarily in what we've won, but it's learning from what we've lost. Just because you don't win at everything doesn't mean you don't get the opportunity to learn something as you walk through it. I am honored that you are the first class that I get to stand here as the principal of Gunner High School. I wouldn't want it to be any other group. What I've seen in these past few days and weeks and months, your character, your integrity, your love for each other, your squirrely behavior when we're trying to do the rehearsal for the graduation. I wouldn't change a minute of it. I am proud of each and every one of you and you will do amazing things. Bask in the wins, but don't forget to learn from the losses. I love you, class of 2021.
would you please welcome the class of 2021 valedictorian Tate Remnant. On this day, we should stop and acknowledge our accomplishments and thank the people who have supported us. Class of 2021, during our time at Gunner, you've accomplished quite a bit. During our time, the football team has either been the state champions or have been knocking on the door of the championship. Volleyball made a serious run at state, and that program will only continue to improve. Girls basketball also made a serious run at state, I know of several girls that are going to continue to play in college. Baseball um, is in the regional tournament right now, as always a postseason contender. Track, FFA, bass fishing, you name it, and gunners in the mix. Band, many of you made all region and area, and marching band was a finalist in area this year and placed the highest in the history of the gunner marching band. Several of our choir members also made it to all region and area. Many of you, class of 2021, are the leaders of these programs. Your discipline and dedication have been a big part of their success. Personally, I am very thankful to attend a high school that has excelled in so many ways. The coaches, teachers, and administrators who organize and run these programs deserve a lot of credit. Dr. Seiler has been incredible. She has guided us through the good times and through the rough patches, and Gunner will miss her leadership to acknowledge her contributions and the rest of the faculty. We should also take a moment to thank our parents. Please know that your love and guidance are greatly appreciated. Most of, or most of all, today, we should celebrate the friendships we have made while here at Gunner. These are the real prizes. Our friendships are our most important accomplishments, and they are worth celebrating. These relationships are, as far as I'm concerned, the best part of school. Leaving Gunner High School does not mean leaving these relationships. Let's keep supporting each other. There will be hard times and there will be failure, but we should try to be resilient and move on from those failures. We should learn from our mistakes and be defined by our efforts and success. And know that you have the support of friends and family that love and accept you without condition and without judgment. So thank you, Class of 2021, for your friendship and our time together. I wish every one of you the absolute best. Gunner Independent School District requires that student meet established criteria partic for participation in this ceremony. Dr. Seiler, members of the school board, it has been verified that all of these students participating today have completed those requirements. At this time, graduates, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Robert Tate Remit. <laughs> JC Talon Childers. Matthew Jesus Avendano. <laughs> Rhea Dalla.
Jaden Alexis Jones. Mary Louise Smith. Reagan Grace Andres. Juan Bernal. Taylor Elise Body. Mitchell Grant Brewer. Samuel Marion Cole. Joseph Peyton Cooper. Scott Alden Craven. Landon Ryan Dolly. Nash Oliver Daniel. Parker Anderson Davis. Samuel James Irwin. Phoebe Renee Fanning. Veronica Araceli Frere. Martin Garcia, Jr. <laughs> Bethany Grace Gilbreth. Peyton Jane Graves. Gunner Paige Griggs Bell. Kinsey Danielle Hamilton. <laughs> Naya Shay Ingram. <laughs> Colton Andrew Jolly. <laughs> Peyton Nicole Jordan. Thomas Edward Knaus. McKenna Diane Kinchelo. Colton Joshua Lankford. Jack Austin Locke. Jordan David Long. Emily Noemi Lopez. Marco Antonio Lopez. Ella Nicole Lotspeech. Bethany Danielle Martinek. <laughs> Sophie Ray Mathers. John Aiden McDowell. <laughs> Ray. 
Ryan Matthew Madrano. Jacob Paul Merrill. Cindy Lucero Montez. Yoselin Andrea Montez. Micah Nicole Neville. Savannah Marie Ortega. Neely Elizabeth Parker. Slade Aspen Parker. Jacob Vincent Parrish. Stephanie Brianne Pelly. Sarah Ann Putnicki. Reuben Elias Reyes. Matthew Cade Roller. Lakin Avery Satry. Bria Nicole Savage. Jacob Bowman Cyberling. Robert Penfield Cyberling. Ty Adam Smith. Zachary Pierce Smith. Ashley Faith Tillett. <laughs> Leah Ann Trevino. <laughs> Caitlin Ann Truitt. Jose Enrique Velasquez. Renata Jolie Vincent. Garrett Christian Vogel. Aubrey McKenzie Wint. Benjamin Nathaniel Wilcox. Brandon Nicholas Wilcox.
earlier this month. We lost one of our own in the tragic passing of Kobe Kent. Kobe was beloved by his family and classmates. And to hear to tonight to accept his diploma is his younger brother, Levi, escorted by graduates and best friends, Mitchell Brewer and Scotty Craven. Please help us honor the family and the memory of Kobe DeWitt Kuntz.
Will the Gunner High School class of 2021 please stand? Tigers, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left to signify your graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and my honor to present to you the class of 2021. Graduates, please stay standing. Parents and families, um, please meet your graduates in the parking lot outside of the event after the recessional. But before that, we have some amazing closing remarks by our very own Ray Adala. Ray. Good evening, parents, families, friends, faculty members, administrators, and proud graduates of the class of 2021. It is such an honor to be able to speak here today in front of all of you, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending this ceremony. I especially want to thank every teacher and staff member for all of your hard work and dedication. It was through all of your efforts that we were able to have such an incredible high school experience, even through the difficult circumstances of the past year's COVID-19 pandemic. Four years ago, as a freshman, I was extremely reserved and barely talked to anyone I didn't know. I definitely could not have spoken in front of a large crowd as I am today. Throughout these past four years of high school, I'm sure that like myself, many of you have observed changes in your personalities, beliefs, goals, and aspirations. Whether these changes were the results of obstacles you have overcome or experiences you have had, However, this is only the beginning, the starting point to our lives as adults, and we will inevitably face countless more struggles and adventures along the way. There is no definite guide to succeeding in life, so it is up to us to choose our own paths and persevere through the barriers that impede us from achieving our goals while maintaining our ideals. So I implore you to ask yourselves tonight, as you move forward on the journey that is life, what changes do you want to see in yourself and what impact do you want to have on the people and environment around you? No matter how big or small the impact, it is our responsibility to initiate the change that we want to see and leave the world a better place than we found it. Congratulations, classmates. Got a feeling that tonight's gonna